Susan is the past president of Renaissance Speakers and the immediate past district secretary. She's also a member of the Open House Toastmasters, and she is competing for them in the Division Tall Tales contest this Saturday morning. She would like to have your input to help her win. Tonight, Susan will be sharing some of her experiences riding her horse, Jake, in Latuna Canyon, perhaps with a little embellishment. See, folks, symbiotic relationships aren't just found with a runner and her shoes. They are also found with human beings and their animals. Susan is doing Project 3, Make Them Laugh, from the Entertaining Speaker Advanced Manual. It's a 46 minute speech, and the objectives of the speech are the following. Prepare a humorous speech drawn from your own experience. Strengthen the speech by adopting and personalizing humorous material from outside sources. Deliver the speech in a way that makes the humor effective. Please welcome Susan Stewart with her speech entitled, The Ponderosa. The Ponderosa, Susan Stewart. The sky was a vibrant blue. The sun was shining. It was 76 degrees in a gentle breeze. How do we survive this miserable weather in Los Angeles? <laughs> <laughs> Nonetheless, it was a magical day. A perfect day to go horseback riding. I called my riding partner, Marissa, and we met in the Tuna Canyon where we keep our horses. As I was grooming my horse, Jake, and she was getting Joey ready, she said, I'm really looking forward to a bonanza run today. Now, Marissa likes to imagine that as we run up the trail, that we're on the opening scenes of the TV show Bonanza, galloping amongst the Ponderosa Pines. Now, there's, we, we, um, oh. my the Ponderosa Pines. Now, I'm much, much too young to remember that. <laughs> <laughs> we finished getting ready, saddled up, and headed for the trail. When we got to the trailhead, she said, are you ready? I'm sure. Now, there's a fine line between imagination and illusion. <laughs> I could swear that day, as we galloped up that mountain, that there was ponderosa pines springing up around us, and right and right along beside us was Hoss and Little Joe Cartwright. <laughs> we got to, we got to the uh, top of the mountain, and Marissa looked at me and went, Did you see that? Ponderosa Pines. Did you hear that? Bonanza music. At that point, I knew it wasn't just my imagination. It was a magical day. We rode on in awe across the crest of the hill until it was time to head down over the mountain. We got to a place and Marissa said, would you like to go down morning glow? Sure. Are you really sure? I mean, the last time we went down there, we had an encounter with snakes. Not to worry. Richard taught me how to handle that. So we headed down the steep trail and the horses slid a bit because it was so steep. Undergrowth grew up all the way up and around us. Jake was moving slowly down the trail, keeping his footing, and then he stopped. And he started to back up. Rattlesnakes! But I knew what to do. I remembered what Richard said. I jumped off from Jake. I grabbed the first snake right by the tail, just below the rattle. And I shook that rattle in front of his eyes. And sure enough, he 
He was mesmerized and he grabbed the tail of his own tail and made himself a snake hoop. Now, I took that snake hoop and I waved it over the nest of rattlesnakes and they all took off into the woods. Now I was feeling pretty cocky. <laughs> I looked to my left. Mountain lion! <laughs> snake hoop, and I threw it like a frisbee. Went right over the mountain lion's neck. <laughs> Didn't know what hit him. Off he went into the woods. I mounted back up and rode on down the rest of the trail, out into the open field that overlooked the mountain morning glow. Having successfully made it through the uh, snake trail, Marissa and I just relaxed on the horses, and she reminisced about what it was like to live in that area when she was growing up. It was nothing like this. All of those houses were gone. It was a beautiful carnation fields that were being grown for the LA flower shops. And up on the hillside were huge cactus. The Oaxaca's Indians would be up there with their machetes every evening, cutting the cactus down for their dinners at night. They would call out, Hasta luego! Hasta luego! As they would ride down through the, the area of flowers. A few minutes later, we headed on down through the flower, into the uh, housing development, and I couldn't believe my eyes. The houses, they just all disappeared. Carnations everywhere. On the hillsides, Oaxaca's cutting down their cactus with their machetes for their dinners, calling out, Barrios con Dios, hasta luego. <laughs> On the crest of the mountain, a silhouette of a mountain lion. And did I see a snake hoop around his neck? <laughs> Marissa and I looked at each other. Did this just happen? Was that just our imagination? No one is going to believe us. But I have a question for you. Did you hear the music? <laughs> 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 <laughs>